This is Twit. Starlink is getting close. Uh, about a thousand satellites have been deployed. They need twelve hundred to uh, do the preliminary first uh, round, which means it'll probably be turned on soon. And oh yeah, by the way, the Falcon Nine. Booster came back to the Of Course I Love You barge and landed perfectly, stuck it, which makes this the ninth time it's been used, um, which is pretty amazing. It has changed the economics of uh, space launches. Mm. Um, yeah. So Starlink is... Any, anybody sign up for the Starlink yet? I know I know a lot of people who have. No. I haven't. No, but it's going to be testing it. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say, it sounds uh, really uh, interesting for, you know, a lot of folks in rural areas, you know, I, I speak to, you know, a, a lot of my readers are not in New York or San Francisco or right. these kind of big urban cities. Right. And I remember I was working on a magazine story, maybe it was a year ago, maybe two two years ago. I, sp I spoke to a woman in Michigan. Uh, she doesn't have internet at, in her home. It does it doesn't exist. Uh, you know, she lives, it's a beautiful location. She, she said she was on a lake. and you know, That's the trade. Gorgeous. That's the trade uh, you make. But if she make. wanted yep. to get like to send an email, she would have to drive to oh, you know some local like oh, bar restaurant oh, that's to get good enough reception. So it's like that's what it is for. Maybe not that extreme, but there are a lot of places in this country where the internet is not particularly good. Right. Uh, and so if, you know programs, uh, companies like Starlink. That's uh, actually kind of interesting. I don't know. You know, we'll see. I haven't tried. You know, CR has not tested it to be clear. Uh, but it sounds interesting, and it sounds like it may fill a need that. So clearly, a lot of folks have. It, yeah. It's also expensive, and, and uh, I, I guess this is a first world issue, because one of the visions of Starlink is to not only bring internet to that woman in Michigan who maybe can afford four hundred ninety nine dollars for the satellite and ninety nine dollars a month for the service, but also to bring it to corners of the world where internet isn't available and there's not that yeah. much money. I'm hoping that they'll let uh, the rich nations subsidize the poorer nations because. I think one of the visions for Starlink is to bring internet everywhere, right? I would yeah. hope. Yeah, and there will be economies of scale, and also even you know what what's what essentially in here is one connection to potentially one house. You know, there in 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 some of those places when you're going from that's zero, true. A town could buy a dish. Split yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. You'll yeah. you'll have a town or a village, and they'll split it ten ways, or you know, twenty ways, or whatever. And at least if you have even a basic connection, um, that that's an upgrade. And then over time, you know, as as the technology scales and the bandwidth scales, then there, there's lots of potential there. When it's he, not when, just Tesla, or sorry, not just Starlink doing it. Um, SpaceX, but there there are two or three others that are that are going to be competing as well. Um, so that's that's a good thing. When are you going to review it? Um, TBD. It, it's in it's in process. Like we don't Ooh. actually have it yet, but mm -hmm. we've got somebody who's who's getting it. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, but it, you can see. Um, obviously, I, I want everyone to look at CNET's review. Um, I you know I'm biased and think it's going to be extremely comprehensive and helpful, but, but you can go on YouTube and there's a, you know, a, a lot of people who have shared their experiences with it. So if you, if you want to get a first look at some of those, um, you absolutely can, uh, take a look at, uh, you know, half a dozen, a dozen videos of, of different people and their experiences. They say I can order it now. It will come by mid to late 2021. It's not cheap. Four ninety nine a month for the uh, four ninety nine wow. for the hardware. Ninety nine dollars a month for the service. They even have the nerve to charge me fifty dollars for shipping <laughs> and handling. I'd have to give them ninety nine bucks now to get into the uh, into the program. I might do that. That's refundable. Kind of like ordering a Tesla. It's, it's interesting. Similar model. It's very similar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is refundable. So you know, just like the Tesla, you could. I st he still has my. Uh, I should get my money back for the uh, Model 3 deposit I put down a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably not going to buy it at this point. All right, I might. Order, I think I should order it because I think we should review it. I mean, I presume uh, am I going to have to contract for a year or something, or can I just turn it off after a month or two? I don't know. I'll have to figure. Can it you out. move it? Like, let's say you move. Let's say you had a vacation house in the boonies. Yeah, you should, should be you, able to you move take it, it with right? you. I would hope so. I think so. Yeah. I mean, they're talking about eventually they're, they're going to probably build the um, satellite into potentially um, and potentially into like the um, the Tesla semi, you know, um, mm -hmm. so that and also even they mentioned um, 
they mention airplanes and boats uh, as as also possible to to have this right. So so those are things that that move. They still think in cities. Um, they've said this recently. They still think in cities that it's going to make more sense for people to use the cellular network. Oh, right? interesting. For, for mobile. So it broadband. really is best for people who just like that Michigan lady just really don't have yeah. a choice or have such bad internet because they're so far off the grid that uh, no. yeah no i agree there but, there does appear to be a, a real of kind of th thirst or, or for, for you know it's not just like internet connections like oh i could i could you know watch funny cat videos which is fine whatever uh but like how much of culture is now just coming through the internet you know you can't right. you can't watch netflix you can't do hbo yeah. max you can't uh you know live stream this show uh it's like so much of, of you know compared to 15 years ago you didn't you know, if you didn't have a broadband connection, it wasn't necessarily a, that big of a deal. Today, it feels way more critical uh, to just be kept in the loop of what's going on and to like participate in society, to have a reliable, you know, this is that digital divide, which Consumer Reports covers very closely. It's like folks are getting left behind uh, through no fault of their own. Uh, and that's and that's bad, you know, not to obviously not to endorse Starlink. You know, I, we haven't tested it. I don't have it. I've seen a YouTube video on it. The guy seemed you know, fairly uh, satisfied with it, but like services like that uh, may, uh, you know, maybe just what folks are looking for.